So I also want to talk about the core of the heart, you know, like the the core wound in, in the heart. And that's the piece that comes up most deeply in deep relationships or it can come up in your spiritual path or and it's it's abandonment. Like there's a deep sense of abandonment that lives in the core of the heart. And so, you know, when we're growing the heart, it doesn't just grow because we suddenly decide we're going to open our heart all done. You know, it's like when you go to study at university, you don't suddenly under, understand calculus, you know, when you pick up the, the calculus book. So this kind of idea, like if we translated what we do with our hearts to our minds, it would make, you know, a, a more obvious sense. It's like that we keep thinking that we've just got the wrong book. If we, if we search the whole world, we'd find the right book. And that book, if we could just open that book, that book would teach us everything that we needed to know. We don't need to study all of these other books because there's just a book out there. I've just found the wrong book. You know, so that wouldn't make sense to our minds because we understand that you, you grow your mind, you grow your capacity to understand. And it's the same with the heart. The path of the lover isn't just like, oh, I met the right person. I kept my heart totally closed until I was 54, and then the right person finally came along, and then I'm open. And it's like the heart needs to be grown, and the heart is grown by falling in love. And that falling in love is, um, is an actual phenomena. It's an energy phenomena. And you can't tell your 13-year-old girl who's fallen in love with, Leonardo DiCaprio or whoever the latest, you know, uh, guy is. Can't tell her, like, you know, your love is is naive and, you know, like, he probably doesn't know about you and, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you have to let her fall in love and you have to let her go through the heartbreak and, you, have, you know, the projection of the heart's image is a beautiful word in, um, in the Sufi Islamic culture called Himma. And Himma is, the energy that the heart throws out into the world. And it throws it out in images. So the heart doesn't work with like the mind does. It works with um, powerful imaginal energy. And so when we fall in love, we're throwing our himmer towards someone. Or when we feel those threads in the meditation this morning, that's our himmer working. And the himmer is, is the image of the heart thrown into the world until we then are drawing that towards us or we're drawing ourselves towards the image. And we'll go into it tomorrow in Venus. But if you understand that, then falling in love when people's hearts connect, it's actually an energetic reality between the, the quality of energy of the heart, which is Venus thrown out through the heart. And when that goes, you know, even though I could know that you love me, but if you stop projecting your hammer on me and project it on someone else, my heart will feel abandoned. Okay, regardless of you telling me, but, but I still love you. Of course I love you. I've just, you know, shifted my heart's attention to someone else. But my heart is going to feel the loss. So that starts in relationship. And one way is that we kind of try to avoid that is like we make a contract. Like you project your hammer on mine and I'll project my hammer on yours and we'll keep it there. So we'll always know that we're loved. We'll always know that we're not abandoned. But then, you know, it doesn't really grow the heart. The heart grows through the projection and the abandonment and the projection and the abandonment. And it comes back always to eventually go to the very core of the heart, which is that love is not a transactional connection with someone else. Love is the core of the human heart. And so, Ultimately, either through a relationship, you know, and I say if you want to know the path of love, best get betrayed fully, completely, as early as possible. Like, you know, find the one that you give everything to, and then that breaks. Like, because that will, if you, if you allow it, you know, instead of having a story about how they weren't the right one or they're fucked up or something, but if you allow that process, it will take you to the very core of the abandonment wound. And if you go through that, it takes courage to go through that. If you go through that core, you'll find that you always will love. And that the real betrayal is the betrayal of 
sourcing your love in the world rather than sourcing it in the core.